former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Chukuma Charles Soludo, has spoken finally about the assassination attempt on him, saying the gun battle between his assailants and his security aides lasted for more than 10 minutes. Soludo was attacked during a town hall meeting at the East Sofia community in Aguata local government area of Anambra State on Wednesday, during which three of his security aides were killed. The governorship aspirant under the All Progressive Grant Alliance was in the community for an interaction, an interactive session. Soludo spoke about the incident on Thursday during an interview on Chinese television politics today. He said, when it was all over, it took several minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of continuous gun battles, going back and forth of stopping, starting again. By the time we all came back, we saw three bodies lying in a pool of blood. They were the three policemen. May God grant their soul eternal rest. At first, I thought maybe the policemen were shooting in the air until I began to hear people screaming and all of that and everybody just scampered for safety. Just as I was about to wrap up the town hall meeting and said finally for them now to open up for comments and answers, there were gone shots. He commiserates with the families of the slain officers while pledging to support them. He described the attack as senseless, noting that no political office should be worth the blood of a chicken, let alone a human life. It is sad and unfortunate. Unknown gunmen had on Wednesday attacked the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Charles Chukuma Soludo, in Isuofia, Aguata local government area of Anambra State, killing at least three policemen attached to him. Sahara reporters gathered that Soludo, a governorship aspirant, was in the community for an interaction, an interactive session. A couple of minutes ago, unknown gunmen disrupted the interactive session between Isofia youth and Professor Chukuma Soludo. In the process, three policemen were killed and one was kidnapped. Their rifles were also carted away. There is a serious stampede in the town and in the center, a resident had told Sahara reporters. The Independent National Electoral Commission had fixed the November 6 for the governorship election in the state. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? As you can see, he said that the gun battle lasted for over 10 minutes, as the case may be. That is what is happening. You know, the people are no longer safe in the country. It's really, really unfortunate that Nigeria has become a state of anarchy. It has become a state of anarchy where there is always issue of gunshots, people being killed and all what have you. It is really, really unfortunate if you'd ask me. Nobody knows what is next or where or who will be next. Well, it is sad and unfortunate if you'd ask me. While lots of people have said that it was an assassination attempt on Professor Chukuma Soludo. Some said it was a warning attack because they had all the opportunity to assassinate anybody even after engaging the policemen. So some were saying that it was just a warning and that probably next time they may not miss the target. But it remains to be seen why anyone would want to take out the governor. Uh, sorry, the uh, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, who is also aspiring to be the governor of Anambra State in the forthcoming election. 
as we all know politics in nigeria is always um, a serious one it has to do with um, you know killing and all what have you so it probably might just be um, a do or die matter nobody knows if this has to do with politics as it were or he it was just uh, an issue of him stepping on on toes or probably somebody not wanting him to contest for the governorship position and uh, decided to issue him a warning or take him out of the way. Probably he is a threat to uh, them. But it is sad and unfortunate. Politics is not worth the lives of people at all. In Nigeria, people have died needless deaths. A lot of people have lost their lives uh, to undue um, cases of um, politicians putting their ambition ahead of every other people, which is not the right thing to do, which is really, really wrong. But however, with the way things are going, nobody is sure of who will be the governor or who will um, emerge governor and under which political party at, as it is. But however, it doesn't matter. What is important as it is at this moment is that, you know, whoever emerges as the governor does the needful to ensure that the people of the state get the dividend of democracy and gets them well safeguards. The people, you know, security or insecurity has become a thing, you know, recently in the country. So once you can provide these basic things for people, they probably would have no issues with you. That is what I feel, and I think that is what it is. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. You know, Professor Chukuma Soludo has escaped assassination or kidnap attempt. Because if they wanted to kidnap him, they probably would have succeeded. And if they wanted to kill him, probably they could have succeeded in killing him. It is just what it is. You know, it is what it is. We are talking about gunmen. So now in this case, are they going to, is the government going to be accused the Eastern, accusing the Eastern Security Network of being behind these attacks? Or are they Fulani bandits, as it were? Or are they evil youths who are probably engaging in this act based on, uh, you know, bottled up anger or what have you? Well, it is what it is. Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.